Well, this looks like a completely normal thing to be doing, heading up to the hilltop ruins of a Welsh castle in total darkness. And my goodness me, just look at this for a location. The hilltop ruins of Dinis Bran sit next to Llangollen, and locally this place is an absolute icon, but heading up here in the dead of night was certainly a different experience to what I'm used to. I think our feathered friends here marking the way certainly added to the very slightly menacing aura as I was making my way up the steep banks. I want to just show you very briefly a few clips of it in the daylight so you can see just how magical this location is. A hilltop castle surrounded by, well, hills as far as the eye can see. We can see Llangollen here itself at night. Locals might even be able to pick out the bridge there. But let's get on to what we're all here for, wandering around the hilltop ruins in the darkness. And the first thing I did, without realising until the editing of this clip, was disturb a lovely little mouse of some description, just scurrying across the floor there. Lovely stuff. On a serious note, as we look at these incredible images on screen, I'd like to say that this could well be the most scenic, picturesque and almost too good to be true locations that I've ever been. Just look at it, we've got archways and stacks and you'll see in a moment we've even got an old chimney that's clearly visible. And it's on a hilltop surrounded by other hills. It's almost like a Victorian folly that was purpose-built to be a lovely scenic set of ruins. But instead, this is a visible echo of real history that's found its way down the centuries to us, who can see it from miles around as a beautiful little novelty on a hilltop. We can use it as a walking destination, and almost as a platform to view the beautiful environment it sits in. And I honestly can't explain how honoured I feel to have been able to spend so much time up here over the years. Of course, being here in these rather more eerie conditions, and with what I would say limited visibility as soon as the torch wasn't shining in front of me, I was very keen to make sure that I was looking where I was putting my feet because A, I didn't want to topple over an edge into a very dark drop to be found goodness knows when and B, well, the last thing you need is a stubbed toe when you've got a very steep hill to walk down as well. Many visitors to Dinis Bran can tell you just how windy it can get amongst the ruins and unfortunately this night was no exception to that rule. But even on the descent, as my fingers started to thaw out when I found a bit of shelter, I just wanted to turn around and go back up there for another hour. Although I knew that I had a finite amount of charge in my torches, and so once in a while, even I have to make the sensible decision, and I find my way back to the car. Another beautiful location visited in unusual conditions, and another wonderful experience that I won't soon forget. Thank you so much for joining me for this magical hilltop tour. If you want to see my other videos, then please consider following me. And if you visit sortofinteresting.com, you'll find all of my stuff all over the internet. Thank you very much, my friends.